Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video on our channel and in this video there is a very big opportunity and a very big update coming from this opportunity because Take Mahindra has finally sent their uh, round 2 details, test round uh, 2 details about the Take Mahindra super coder hiring. So you all know that Take Mahindra have been hiring for different roles for many months now. Okay, for previous uh, few months they have been hiring for the base role. But that rule CTC is a bit lower, it's even lower than 4 LPA, so 3 and something LPA is that. But there is a very big update recently coming from Tik Mahindra that they started hiring for the super coder role, that is 5.5 LPA CTC role, okay. And this is going to be one of the very big hiring that the 2023 batch is going to see, okay, because after this hiring, there is only one two might be there if you are lucky but there is almost zero opportunities for mass hiring going to be there okay i'm saying about mass hiring so that's it and this is also a very big ctc hiring going on so if you guys do not follow our channel regularly at least for the hiring drives you miss this opportunity and it is not going to come back but still we post different hiring onboarding exam and different different industry updates regularly Different different many companies are still hiring that might not be mass hirings but still they are hiring in good numbers. Every day we post at least 8 to 10 hirings and if you are not checking out those, if you are not uh, applying for those hirings, you are missing out on good opportunities and if you are ruining your own future with your own hands. So make sure to check our hiring drives every day regularly and if you are new to our channel make sure to click on the subscribe button. Join our telegram for any discussions and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing so that you do not miss out on all the industry updates we post regularly. So finally today there is another mail coming from Take Mahindra Super Coder. Let's check the mail. So mail is saying that round 2 test instructions. Take Mahindra Super Coder's hiring challenge for the round 2 there is test instructions that are coming from Take Mahindra. They have also given the detailed exam pattern along with it we are going to discuss both in this video first of all they have saying that they are shortlisted candidates so this is only coming to shortlisted candidates who are shortlisted for the round two okay if you are not receiving this yet so there is now very less chance of you getting this because the registrations for the round two is already closed okay so congratulations they are saying for advancing to round two of take mahindra super coders hiring challenge uh, they were impressed by the performance of round 1 and now they are excited to see how you tackle the next stage of the competition. So round 2 test, they have given the details that test duration will be 75 minutes. Okay, so let's check it from the direct take mind side. So they have said that test duration will be 75 minutes. Test components, so what is what is the different different components you can see in the test? There will be two components as I have mentioned in my previous detailed uh, roadmap video for the preparation. So there is aptitude and there is coding but the aptitude questions will be a bit advanced than the previous round because this time it is advanced aptitude and coding round. Okay, so you have to expect a bit tougher and a bit uh, new type of questions in the aptitude round. It will not be very much tough because you will only have one minute per question as you can see they have mentioned 30 aptitude questions and there will be 30 minutes time for it. Okay. So in one minute they will not give you too much tough questions that no one can solve but uh, they will give you moderate level or a bit tougher than the previous round you can expect because this is an advanced aptitude round. Also there is no like single questions timer because there will be total 30 minutes time for 30 minutes uh, 30 aptitude questions. So you can give uh, 2 minutes for one question and for, for the other question you can solve in 10 seconds that you can do it's up to you okay. And for this round also you can expect both three types of questions mathematics, English and reasoning and like the previous round so there will be basically quants questions, English questions and uh, reasoning based questions. But this time this is not typically mentioned here but uh, by seeing the previous round we are predicting this that this might happen. Next the main focus that everyone is giving is about to be the coding questions or the coding round. But I am saying you again and again that this is the mistakes everyone is doing. You should not do this. Okay. They are just focusing on the coding round and taking the aptitude questions lightly. If you are not performing well in the aptitude questions, it will reduce your chances of getting selected drastically. Because 
suppose they, if there is a 20 coding questions test cases i am saying 20 test cases and you are able to do 15 of, out of 20 okay and you are getting 10 marks in the aptitude and someone who able to do 14 or 13 test cases and they are getting 28 29 in the aptitude questions they are getting less test cases passed than you but still they are going to get selected because the overall score will be calculated by both of these marks okay so you have to be able to perform in both so after the aptitude there will be coding segment there will be no two separate exams will not be there in, inside the same exam inside the same time slot you have to give it, give it in a one go in one sitting you have to complete both the parts so after aptitude there is coding part after aptitude there is coding part you have to take care of the coding questions as well coding questions and uh, number of coding questions is not mentioned here okay number of coding questions is not mentioned but they have given the time duration the time duration is going to be 45 minutes okay so by all these type of similar hirings that happens like from ibm you can see or Accenture or whatever these type of similar hirings whatever hirings they give 45 minutes time for coding and i am talking about similar range of uh, companies not i am not talking about product based companies hiring and all i am not talking about google or microsoft hiring i am just talking about similar type of companies like take mahindra who hires for this type of uh, this type of uh, batches or this type of roles and they have a coding round in their uh, hiring process and if they are giving 45 minutes time for the uh, hiring uh, round of the coding round of the hiring process generally this is now nowadays this is the common timing because for almost all the hirings we saw recently it was the same everyone was giving like 45 minutes time so many people were quite curious about how many coding questions they can expect so for this 45 minutes you can expect two coding questions okay you can expect two coding questions and what is the level of the coding questions the coding questions level many people will uh, say that it is very tough very tough level coding questions you have to be prepared this is not going to be very tough level coding questions also this is not going to be very easy level coding questions okay because this is not the base package role this is there is going to be intermediate to moderate level coding questions okay moderate level coding preparation if you have especially logical logical coding knowledge they will check like problem solving abilities so if you are good at problem solving you are going to easily clear this round and if you want to practice i have already posted in my previous video again i am saying practice from hacker rank hacker earth geeks for geeks these type of different multiple websites are there don't go to lead code okay or code forces that level is too much higher and these questions will not be of that much high level you can just try from these three like hacker rank hacker earth and geeks for geeks this also so then practice from their moderate level coding questions from there okay moderate to high of this you can uh, practice for your better understanding but if you are not good at coding i will suggest try moderate level that will also be enough to pass this and especially array and string based questions array string matrix this uh, this type of questions you can expect and you should practice this type of questions that will help in logic building as well test date and time also they have given test date is going to be march 13 2024 so today is march 11 just two days ago they are sending the mail and test time also they have mentioned will be 4 pm okay there are not different slot this time there is only one slot that is coming and if you recently got this uh, mail from take the super coder and you got a different slot make sure to comment down okay this is the uh, for all the candidates i got to know from this is the uh, timing they are getting if any of you getting any other timing make sure to comment it down so that we can add those also and test start time will be 4 pm and they have given the link also test link uh, so you can just click on there and it will start but now it will not work obviously they have you know, given that it will only work on the 13 march 4 pm so test instructions they have given that test will begin promptly at 4 pm and 13 march entry to test will be closed after first 10 minutes so after first 10 minutes like after 4 10 pm you will not be able to enter the test so don't waste your time be prepared with everything before 4 pm and when the 4 pm is there make sure to start the test don't waste any time also if you uh, start it uh, within the window of 10 minutes you will get full 75 minutes time to attend it, it is not like if you are starting at 4 8 you are going to get uh, 67 minutes no 
but whenever you are starting from within from 4 to 4 10 you will get full for 75 minutes time and you should uh, have a stable internet connection these things basic they have mentioned like good internet connection you have to reach questions carefully your laptop and webcam should be uh, uh, there like the webcam and uh, audio and webcam uh, proctoring might be there so that's why they are saying that you should have a webcam you need to use the email on which the mail has been received there will be a proctored test okay so there will be a proctored test so the uh, webcam will be enabled while going to the test if you attempt to move out of the test window they will automatically be submitted so do not change test window like do not try to open another window or like that in your uh, while giving the test so then it will automatically get submitted and they are that's it that's uh, that's what they have given and they have also given a link that if you have not completed the registration they have given a link to complete registration that's the all about the mail and if you have any other queries after all this make sure to comment down i'll try to uh, solve it if we have any idea about that